guys um, when they're at their best and, and dominating in the low post, dominating the rim, uh, cat and Nas in the perimeter as well as the, the, the rim. It, it creates a lot of stress on, the, on teams and um, it opens up a lot for the rest of us and it makes the game easier on Ann, it makes it easier on me. Um, we're able to kind of all fall into our, our roles even better. Well, it's, it's you know, kind of reemphasizes what we know about our team is that we we are a deep team. We are a team that can win a bunch of different ways. Uh, any given night, he could be a different guy. Um, but for you know, Ant to be the guy that only get you know six, seven points, whatever it is, and the rest of the guys step up and um, win convincingly. I think that says a lot about who we are, our resiliency. Um, we don't we don't care if somebody's in or out the game, hurt or not playing or playing. We go out there and whoever's out there plays hard. And and, and if we play defense like we have been, uh, especially tonight, I think it, it covers up for a lot of the things that um you know that we've been trying to improve on uh, during the season. When when Carl's scoring at all three levels like he was kind of in the first quarter and Rudy's kind of being dominant in the interior there, how do you adjust your game as the point guard to maybe look for them more in their spots and keep them going? Uh, well, let's just, you know, go with what's working. You know, at that point, I'm, I'm, I'm a guy old, kind of old school. Like, man, if we got something that's going, like, let's keep going back to them, keep running the pick and rolls, keep running the post ups, like, um, keep those guys in rhythm. Because um, they they were the reason why we were you know kind of in control of the game early, and um, they just did a good job of taking what was given to them too. I mean, Cat was aggressive, Rudy was dominant in the way that you know he can be, and um, you know when those guys are playing that way. It's, it's we're a very tough team to beat because um, we got so many more options outside of them that can help us. I remember Rudy said. I asked him about the empty corner pick and roll with you mm -hmm. uh, a month back or something. He's like, well, we can't do it too much because everybody else is going to get bored. Right? Yeah. Are you saying kind of there, like, I guess my question is, can you guys drill down more into, like, going to, whether it's that action with you two or Carl in the post or whatever, do you feel like the team is getting more comfortable in nailing the same action over and over again? I think, I think we are. I think we, we're getting to a point where we have two or three, like, go-to plays where we just know – Everybody's spacing. We know who's most likely going to get the shot, who's most likely going to be in the actions. And, um, and I, I think our offense is really good when we have that kind of structure and spacing and we know where we're going to be at. Um, that empty sided pick and roll has been a problem for a lot of people for a long time. So we, we know that that's going to be there late in games and when we need a bucket. Um, you know, plays with Ann at the ball, handling guys slipping out, just being fast into our actions. Cat in post, cat flaring at the top, like him rolling down the middle, like all that stuff is um, what we're kind of falling into right now. And hopefully that's, you know, what we kind of gravitate towards as the season goes on. Even when you guys play out of your minds like you did tonight, <coughs> there are places where they're like, where you're like clustered turnovers, you know? What are the, like the two or three things do you think that are the biggest generator of turnovers in the personality of this team? Well, I think it's one is just playing in the crowds. I think we, we get you know, we've got so many guys who can handle and get into paint in the paint and make plays that you know you get two or three guys on you and you just kind of take one too many dribbles. These teams have they're very handsy. They 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 kind of try to pick your pocket. They try to get in passing lanes and. Um, in those moments, we have to be willing to just say, hey, I got to make the easy one, make the easy one. Um, and that's mostly when we make our turnovers, when we're just trying to force it and it makes our spacing bad and, um, and we get, you know, out of, out of sync a little bit. You mentioned the other night, even after a loss, you kind of felt like you guys were maybe rounding back into the team that you were, whether it be the travel, illness, or whatever. Mm. Defensively, Houston on this one, you feel like you're almost kind of back to where where you were in those first maybe 15, 20 games? Uh, I do feel like we're, we're getting closer to that team. Um, we were, we had a stretch there. We just, we didn't have enough pop. You know, we just didn't have the, whatever that is, that gives us that little edge that we normally have played with, especially defensively, just being able to be aggressive and, and on the ball and force guys into tough shots. And, um, and, you know, our communication wasn't at that level either. I think the last couple games we've been talking a lot more. We've been, you know, just, just being louder and, 
having that energy just allows our defense to be active and um, and you know be a dominant you know force like it's been you know earlier in the season. How many times have you occurred to be flown on the same day you played? Uh, maybe once, <laughs> maybe once, but I'm um, not looking forward to it. <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs>